Alright everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, hopefully everyone had a good weekend yet again. You know, I actually went to bed really early yesterday because I was bored, my mind was all stressed out, because right? I actually started reading the uh, Tower Defense template manual, so already it's like my brain's a little fried, it's like, oh god, I'm going to have to go back to coding. <laughs> Uh, well, that being said, even if I did give up coding, I definitely do not want to give up on the idea of an entertainment company that does both TV, movie, and video games. So, you know, of course, but that, of course, the trick is I would have to have a lot of money to hire everybody to do all that crazy technical shit for me. If it wasn't for the technical shit, you know, I'd be able to actually be able to, uh, tell great stories and stuff and then, you know, whatever, make a lot of money. So there's definitely an end game, you know, on the uh, you know at the end of the road. If you could even call it, it's not, it's not even the end of the road. It's just like you know on the, on my continued journey. But uh, yeah, but oh well, you know, the tower defense kit does look pretty complete and solid, even though it's not technically a full game as the author uh, puts it. But you know, it seems to work. It does seem to have some kind of save and load function. It's a little weird, but you know, I'll I'll have to I'll have to obviously work on it. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's 9.32, so the market should be open. Oh, of course, my Bit Heroes guy is dead. Uh, so uh, let's just get right into it. Uh, let's just see, because I didn't really do too much uh, research. I just know things are going down. So, uh, And now that I know I have to like pay the listing fee to Crex for uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the swap fee eventually for both JMC and 404 coin. Yeah, you know, it's gonna be a little pricey, so uh, we'll we'll see. April, uh, so May second. Uh, what is that? What am I doing? Fourteen. All right, so Bitcoin's at fourteen. Oh, and Mitch said he'll he should have it done in a couple weeks. So you know he's gone into his caveman mode. So basically, I'm not gonna be hearing from him for another couple weeks. But he's obviously working on it. You know, unfortunately, because of what that what crap's going on in Germany, uh, I guess he can't have access to like a really good computer so it takes one hour to compile the damn wallet every time he makes a change so it's very annoying but he said it's normal so i'm not sure does it does he even have does having a faster computer actually make it compile i guess that would make sense right right because compiling is just cpu intensive right you know so <clears throat> let's see <clears throat> so Bitcoin, uh, oh yeah, so, oh god, I'm so out of it because I'm like, I'm still like in the lazy weekend mode. I know, being more lazy than I already am, right? <laughs> so Bitcoin searches were 14, right? So it looks like it's going up a little bit, but I mean, Bitcoin halving is basically in like, what, a week, right? Or something like that. Yeah, it's not really going up. Uh, it's not really going down too much either, but today is a down day. Right, because again, everything's going down. Because uh, again, those China, as I said on Friday, those China tariffs are a fundamental change to everything. Right, because it also will signal, you know, Trump doing other different things. And of course, uh, does that mean Trump's going to win re-election? Uh, for some reason, Firefox does render predicted correctly on Chrome. This thing is like all messed up and warped, and like the columns are all like not correct. Fifty cents to forty-four cents. All right, so he's still technically going to win, but not by much. 87.70 for Bitcoin. Bitcoin dollars to 65.8 percent, and 24 hour value is 162.3 billion. Uh, Litecoin's at 46.82, so everything's just dipping a little bit. Spark lines, of course, are completely wrong as always. So just ignore that. Uh, Doggy coin 305.4 million market cap. Still not too bad though. Um, let's see, where's Hive? 39.97 cents. I like how it's up 21%, but the spark line's straight down. It's like, the, like the, the, this thing is like completely dysfunctional. <clears throat> Steam is at 18.39 cents. All right, so Hive is basically twice the value of Steam. Of course, this doesn't take into consideration that both cryptos can censor you. <clears throat> All right, because Again, BlockTrade said their account was frozen by the witnesses on the Steam network, which is basically controlled by Justin Sun and Tron. So that's not decentralized at all. It's like you just, you know, like if, if rich people wanted to, they'd buy up all the coin and then lock you out, and then and then <laughs> and then you're censored. So you know, uh, so Yahoo Finance is jumping in on the mass hysteria. They're quintupling down. They're going to continue to because uh, uh, the main problem with the uh, coronavirus and shutdown is too many fucking retards are actually going along with the shutdown. All right. 
So that's why they keep pumping up the fear, right? Because I don't think people actually realize, like, like at least the idiots that are uh, conforming to the shutdown. It's like, hey, we're in a police state. You know, thanks a lot, asshole. Right? I mean, the only, I mean, there are a lot. Of, there are actually a lot of good things that come out of the shutdown, uh, in terms of you know the liberals losing ground to everything, right? Especially with Joe Biden, the whole sexual assault thing that's going crazy. Right? They believe all women. Well, now it's believed some women. So now, like, people are like, okay, what the fuck, <laughs> right? So I've noticed it's actually, uh, if if I understand this correctly, it's actually center-left people-ish, I think. And it's been, this one's a little hard because I don't really, because obviously I don't follow the Democrats that much because obviously I'm not a shit, but, but um, let's see. What, what, I guess you could say fake progressives i think that would be the term i'm looking for people who sound like they're far left but they're actually the establishment kind of like how on our side we have ben shapiro and tp usa and charlie kirk we have fake right and fake conservatives uh the left has the same thing because like all the people i see that seem frothing at the mouth and constantly bashing trump they're all instantly lining up to defend joe biden and then say you know, here, here's Joe Biden saying, yes, here, where's the complaint? I followed it for, uh, show me the complaint, show me the proof. I will testify, blah, blah, blah. It's, and then he's like, oh, yeah, but Donald Trump's like, just denied it. It doesn't matter, right? I mean, you didn't do, you didn't, these same assholes didn't show the same courtesy to Brett Kavanaugh, who was also proven innocent. So, like, you're full of shit, right? But then they're also bashing all the, like, apparently a lot of far left people, especially the Birdie Bros, surprisingly, are actually doing something useful for a change. They're actually like, yeah, Tara Reid was raped by Joe Biden. What the fuck, right? So at least they're consistent with their, you know, whatever they're doing. So it's actually a very interesting, weird... It's only weird to me, I guess, and to you, because, you know, obviously we're not really shitloads, but, you know, uh, it's like, wow, I'm actually pretty impressed with what's going on. So, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, and Nick Fuentes kind of hinted at it. He said, like, the overall arching thing is we don't want to... And Mike Cernovich even mentioned this a long time ago, too. Uh, you know, Nick also said on his recent show, supposedly today's this big reveal on his website or something, because he's unveiling the new code of his streaming service. Uh, he said that we don't want a situation where any man who runs for public office, if you want to take him out, just just find a, a bunch of women that he's been around, doesn't even have to have any relationship with them, right? Just been around them and just have pay them a lot of money and you have them accused. The man of sexual assault and rape and then that's it you take him out right yeah it's it's retarded right it's retarded so um and then overall he said uh, it's good to see that now everyone's going to figure out hey this is actually unstable and retarded and who gave birth to this oh it was liberals okay you know and then he long story short liberalism as an ideology is just dying me personally, I'm a little different. Uh, I have a different take on that. But yes, like the worst aspects of liberalism is dying. The good aspects, if you can believe there are, which and they actually do, uh, are still there. And the conservatives have to learn to take that away from them so that we never have to deal with this ever again. And then there'll be no need for liberals. But, you know, as I always said, you know, empathy has always been a hard thing for right wing people. So, you know. We, we, it's just, uh, you know, it's a work in progress, so hopefully they'll figure it out. Uh, all right, so the markets have been pretty live. I don't know why I went through. Oh, yeah, so all this stuff is just, like, basically affecting the election. So I guess they all cancel each other out. So I'll just let those idiots just, you know, deal with Joe Biden and shit. We'll just sit on the sidelines and laugh and commentate. All right, so it does look like today's going to be a pretty big down day. Um... Let's see, I did, just in case Yahoo decides to close some of these articles because they're obviously shifting stuff. Warren Buffett apparently is losing a lot of money. In the first quarter of this year, he supposedly lost $50 billion, but I only saw that as a Yahoo comment, so I didn't even bother fact-checking it, so who knows how true that is. Here's what Warren Buffett thinks about Tesla and Elon Musk. So this stupid asshole Warren Buffett likes to virtue signal all the time how everyone has to play their fair share, and then he himself doesn't do shit, and now he's losing all his money, which is great. Right, because he he's definitely part of the globalist scam, and he's definitely a shitlib. Right, because he supports a lot of the shitlibbery, and then meanwhile he turns right around, and dumps all the American airlines. Actually, he's dumped all his airline stocks. 
So, uh, yeah, so much for being, and he's actually even said, oh, yeah, I'm long America. Yeah, okay, asshole. Yeah, okay, you fucking boomer. You know, lying little shit. Small firms still in the dark on loan forgiveness. Well, it's actually good to probably dump the airline stocks because a lot of them are also assholes, right? And they're also failing. But, I mean, if you're going to, like, run around virtue signal and just lie all the time, I mean, it's going to only be a matter of time before, you know, it catches up with you. But, of course, everyone, all the shit lib establishment types are propping them up. So I'm just, like, so annoyed with this, you know, deception. All right, so we'll read those articles later. Uh, GMC coin still kind of stable, seven to eight. You know, now going down, going down to six. Uh, by the combination of the markets going down, people wanting cash again, and maybe the swap news might be having an effect on the price. So we'll have to see. Four hundred four coins definitely having a, a problem too. Uh, well, I should say problem. You know, everyone's taking into account the swap, so that's why it's going down quite a bit more than it really should. But it's at three to five, we could definitely get four. Uh, two by two is holding very steady. Uh, it was actually a little down yesterday, but now it's back up 67 to 68, so very solid. All right, two by two is not going to need a swap for at least another couple years, I think. So, you know, it'll be fine. But by then, you know, we'll be well capitalized by the new 404 JMC coin, and it'll be right in the middle of the bull run. So, so that could be a big deal. Uh, I don't know what the theme, though, is going to be for their new the new 2x2 two two coin though that's the only thing ah, but you know we'll see compound coin uh 5000 a 5750 uh so you know it's been just chilling as usual uh oh thank you to the one person that subscribed i have no idea where this person came from but thanks welcome hopefully you're watching this video so uh enjoy uh, cause yes, if you want to know the tr actual truth so you can make some fucking money you listen to me you want to be lied to well there's Play of other people, but I'm not the one for that. Uh, Bitcoin hasn't done this. Uh, blah 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 blah. Wait, what? Bitcoin may drop. Bitcoin price may drop. How his scroll day is short. Okay, so remember, if you remember, I did say I couldn't recall because I could have sworn in 2016 when Bitcoin held it went down a lot and went back up. The problem is the price charts don't show that at all, so I can't quite remember. So that's why we're going to actually look at that article because maybe they actually have the the thing is, I could have sworn there was one, right? You know? I, and then why would they hide the thing that, you know? I mean, it was probably very brief, that's why, but. So I built a Bitcoin mining fire in Animal Crossing. That is. Oh, okay. It's just, it's a fake one. Okay. It's, okay. That's, that's pretty funny. A lot of people like this game for some reason Animal Crossing. First mover capitalism's biggest crisis is to drive people its fault. Uh, forget the halving, is this the real uh, no, uh, blah, 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 D, 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 D. Okay, so it's just, it's just all crap. Because again, Bitcoin's going down along with the rest of the markets. So, I mean, there goes your hedge theory. Bitcoin ha is mainstream, so it's cryptocurrency. So, guess what? And that means it's subject to the exact same for forces as everyone else in the world. The only exception to this is fucking gold and silver, which doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, in fact, did it even go up today? Because uh, it hasn't really gone up that much when it was going up. Like, what, what, 37%? Which I guess is an okay change. Uh, it's up, like, a little bit. Yeah, it's even down. It's like, yeah, it's like, whatever. Uh, this is up. What is this weird thing? It's using percentages. All right. Uh, right, because they want to make it look more worth. See, even this. Fu All right, you know what? We're not gonna use this site. They're manipulate. Like, just show me the fucking price. Don't show me the. Don't try to manipulate the prices. This is what pisses me off. So that, like, the boom. So in this case, the boomers will feel better about buying fucking shitty gold and silver. Uh, let me see. All right, this looks like an actual price chart. All right, good. Uh, oh man. Uh, this is very irritating. Right, will you get out of my way? All right, I think. It is. Uh, this is so annoying. All right, so let's see. Dipped a lot during coronavirus, as expected, like everything else in the world, and it went back up. Okay, so before coronavirus, it was at where it is now, seventeen hundred bucks. That's actually not bad. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's also kind of correlated with the stock market too. So I mean, like, like do people just? like not sit down and be honest with themselves that's what's very annoying about all this 
Oh, what's the price of silver? Yeah, 1482. Fucking piece of shit thing. I remember when I bought silver for like five bucks and then it went up to like 45. You know, now it's like worth nothing. Like 1482. It's like, well, what was the point? I actually would have, I would actually would have made more money buying stocks, believe it or not. Right? Because at least the money would have continued to grow and my asset column would continue to grow. But if I buy silver, it's still the same amount of silver five, ten years later. Again, as I said, it's a fucking retarded. Like, I'm so irritated about the gold and silver shit. Right? And of course, you know, right wing people are very vulnerable to that kind of stuff. So I, I guess, I mean, like JLP likes to always say, we all get what we deserve, right? And of course, my adding is, you know, yeah, you get what you deserve, both the good and the bad. So, you know, the trick is make sure that good stuff happens to you when you get what you deserve, right? And not like the Joker style, you get what you deserve kind of thing. Uh, so, but yeah, I never actually watched that movie. I, I just don't go out and watch movies. Uh, but yeah, well, that's a different topic for another day. This intermediation, the baggers could not stand for perverse status quo, can't avoid digital currencies. Well, yeah, of course they can't avoid it. Just like you can't avoid air, breathing, and new technology, right? And it's easy as specifically designed for every asshole to adopt it. So it's not that big of a deal, right? Because, because what's going to happen is they're going to be forced to use cryptocurrency or just simply die, right? Essentially. Right. I mean, metaphorically. Right. It's so like coronavirus. Either you become a right wing nationalist or you die from coronavirus. Right. James James Gadursky ran a poll. I think it was I know I retweeted sometime last week that asked everyone of all various different groups, would you support a halt to immigration uh, temporarily uh, during coronavirus until the coronavirus passes? Two-thirds of all women in America said yes, right? 50 per 47 percent out of four and versus 40 so basically it's even split six percent did not uh, decline the answer but basically 50 50 of Democrats actually said yes restrict immigration until coronavirus passes so even the fucking shit libs are like yeah we need to shut down immigration because guess what the truth is staring you in the face and that's what I try to teach people right you can't hide from the truth you can't run from it and you're gonna have to face the music all right and the globalists know that that's why they're going crazy right now with the mass hysteria fear shit that's why yahoo finance is doing this too i really don't like this shit all right you know if you put like number of people who died in car crashes right every year or you know people who die from heart disease or diabetes yeah, the number would actually be pretty comparable to this or higher. And on top, this is just confirmed cases. This isn't even fatalities. The numbers I just quoted, right? Uh, heart attack deaths, heart disease death, diabetes death, car accident deaths is way higher than this. So individually too, uh, except car accidents. I think people, I think uh, only a couple, I don't know how many people typically die in car accidents. It's a very dangerous thing though. Uh, but, you know, like, again, this fear mongering is just, you know, really pissing, well, not pissing me off. Well, yeah, I'm not angry, but, you know, it's kind of like in that direction. It's like, this is just evil. This is just evil. Uh, we are left at Trump's re-election. Um, let's see, crypto, I hope, you, I really hope you guys don't hear that, um, shitty background music. You know, people are so cooped up here in New York City, everyone's going crazy. Uh, so there's nothing I could do. Uh, plus, it's actually after it's actually noise hours. So uh, big move on the horizon. I am kind of tempted to read this guy's thing, but you know, every, every, there's always a Bitcoin analyst who always gets it right. I always get it right, pretty much like 95% of the time. Where's my fucking you know bioptic here in uh, uh, Daily Holdo? So uh, let's see. Yeah, any, any asshole can make shit up. Well, except me. I actually look at the things. But, you know, that's fine. Uh, let me see. I just want to see if Trump's got anything new here. Uh, wait, his name is Lacey Jump. I thought this was a woman. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, is he going to win against Ilhan Omar? Um, let me see. I was going to say, does he have the thing that's specific... Yeah, I, I'm not having a second. I don't want to get deplatformed, but I, I I need to see if there's a certain policy that he has that might allow him to win. But the problem is Ilhan Omar is representing a district. Where is she? 
from Minnesota, right? She's representing a district that um, has a very heavily heavy Somali Muslim population. So, I mean, demographics-wise, Ilhan Omar is basically set for life. Great reviews, highly pandemic, da 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 da. Concast should have opened up a long due floor cold case against Psycho Joe Scar. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I think he was talking to Scar. I'm with the truckers all the way. Yeah, da, da. Ryan Fournier. Um, yeah, we're going to see it right before our eyes. Well, he's definitely really good. I mean, despite all the shit I like to criticize him for, and of course he does deserve the criticism, he's actually been very good. Uh, Baby Yoda, of course. Uh, I'm shift drive, report drive. Okay, I don't see anything at all. Uh, F. F Roche does FD, gets FDA emergency approval to do coronavirus 1990 by testing. All right, so our testing's ramping up. So nothing really different's changing here. And Trump's mostly doing it re election stuff. So, all right, let's see. What does he have? Uh, but deliver 1000. Okay, well, it's got to have copyright music, so I can't play that. Great story, all these small businesses switched to making 3D printed masks, and we're giving them away to the community. Uh, sure, yeah, 3D printing is going to be really big. Uh, not wear a mask, yeah, I'm still not sure where you can go get a mask, by the way. Uh, breaking our election regional pressure to jointly procure all this stuff. So we're here to help prevent to show where we work together. Right. Well, we're giving away ventilators too. So, I mean, they already kind of know that they kind of like overhype the hysteria. So that's why they're trying to like scramble to find something else to scare people with. New York State Local Carl has I have an on hand. What does PPE stand for? Funny enough, I never actually looked this up. Uh, okay, in three waves, second wave was worse than the first wave. We asked you guys for it. Oh, come on. I, see, now, now he's going back to fear mongering. Um, yeah. Oh, God. Well, he's going back to fear mongering, so can't do much so with, with that. All right, so we got like four. Uh, man, we got a lot of shit here. Um,. Let's see. I guess the first I actually want to do is look at this Bitcoin thing, because... Alright, so we're... Uh, Halvings. Okay. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. This giant jump, uh, dump. Okay. So this is what I... Yeah, this is it. Uh, 2012. Let's see. First Halving 2012. I think maybe I could... I kind of... I don't know if you guys can see my mouse. Hopefully you can, but... In 2012, there was a slighter dip from 12 to 10, but I mean, it's so slight. But in 2016, I definitely seem to remember some big dump. So this probably is it right here. It was at, this looks like $750, and it crashed all the way to 600 within basically a day or two, and then it started going back up. Um... Go ahead, we're going to go the other way, second Halloween, yeah, oh yes, 660, trading here 660, then went to 440, though it peaked in 780 mid-June. Big also witnesses, uh, witness unprecedented gains in 12 to 15 months following previous halvings. Halving will reduce the amount of Bitcoin's order to the higher investors should note that the previous bull runs last time immediately after halving. In fact, the 2060 halving was followed by a notable price drop. Right. Again, you don't see this in the charts today, but this is exactly what I was referring to. I just couldn't remember the details of it. Yeah, because there's always a lag time, and then, you know, it goes, I gotta be careful how I move my arm up, otherwise people are gonna accuse me of doing Hitler salutes. Um, what you, see, that's the other thing, too. Our fucking society is so fucking warped, I have to, I have to worry about stupid, retarded shit like that. But anyway, it, it, it goes straight up, right? You know, so there, the bull run always comes in uh, later, after the halving. Uh, it's been out for like six, nine months, right? There's a lag time. Price before halving, uh, Bitcoin. I should know that previous one me, hey, Bitcoin traded sideways. This is actually a really good article. I'm going to tweet this out. Uh, what am I going to say? Um, uh... I always kept remembering a sudden big break, big drop in Bitcoin's price after it halves, but today's charts don't show it. 
This guy does a great... This guy says exactly what I've been saying, but with the actual historical data. I mean, the bull run could still be different this time around, especially because of coronavirus and China tariffs and all this crazy shit going on. Uh, but so far, uh, Bitcoin's been very consistent with you know uh, what it does in the future based on history. Uh, so we'll have to just see what happens this time around. But I'm not expecting any miracles, so so first record high. Maybe I should actually wait for Bitcoin to help, and then because I already put my money into my fiat to crypto account, getting ready to buy Bitcoin. Um, I don't know. Maybe I might actually want to wait. So I don't know. Maybe this is God telling me, hey, maybe you ought to wait. You know, because I don't know, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Pullback looks likely this time. Bitcoin out of the middle of the topic, the DDD, thanks to DDD. On chain day, it's just that both small and large are coins and they're up to the event. As a result, about profit taking may be seen after May 12th. Oh, is that what causes the dump, uh, the drop? People hoard coins, it goes up, and then after it happens, then they start dumping everything. This so, uh, the May 2020 holiday is different for you two events because this is uh, right. He's mentioning the exact same. This guy is like reading, literally reading my mind. If I didn't know any better, maybe he's just stealing my content at this point. We go to coin holiday will certainly be different. The last, uh, 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 oh yeah, it is more. It is yeah, actually yeah. Bitcoin is you know technology in general is just so much better now, and it only continues to improve. Coronavirus has shaken the thing. Da, 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 I have a strong reason to search for alternatives like Bitcoin. That is true because we see that here, right? We see the searches starting to slowly go up. Uh, Bitcoin struggles past 9K. Go, 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 go. True as a chill here. We are at peak levels heading into the critical halving uh, event. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Um, now, here's the thing if it's true that if the rich people are actually very interested in the howling, where do they start dumping to? So, that's the interesting thing. Excuse me. Yeah, there's a lot of variables here. For the first time in a long while, I actually don't know what's going to happen between now and next week. Or at least when the uh, howling starts. Because there's too, there's like so much more crap going on. It's not as simple as it was before. Uh, so believe it or not, so I saw all the shit lives on Yahoo Finance trashing her, so naturally I'm going to be interested in what she has to say. That being said, she's also one of the few people that actually tells people that networking is stupid. Uh, so, I don't know, I don't even know why I have this open. Like, maybe she has got something. Uh, I lost money buys. I mean, she's basically giving you basic stuff. Uh, you better just don't buy some investment in the market, say real premium advice like that, get help with file. Uh, can you go to so, uh, Thanks. Yeah. So it's just really basic stuff. All right. We could probably ignore that. I need to. We need to know about these uh, Trump tariffs. So. All right. So blah 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 blah. blah. Um. I'm gonna go invest. Oh, God. We're gonna go to Investors Business Daily. Uh. Naturally, my Bit Heroes disconnected. Uh, yes. Here goes my Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Dow Jones futures fall. Okay, so let's see. Uh, well, it's going down now. Uh, Warren Buffett is dumping his airline stocks. Trump, China tariff pressure, blah, 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 blah. Several stocks flash relative straight up Friday. Uh, are all blue dot. Yeah. President Trump start to reignite the trade war with China. We're already in a trade war with them. Uh, in the middle of a global recession, we got solid weekend. Get it. Okay. Nothing new. Hey, she's very attractive. Um, what is a blue dot? What does that mean? Market Smith. Blah, 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 okay, wait. This is. All right, we're going to close that because they're talking technical analysis. And you know how I feel about technical analysis bullshit. All right, please tell me this is a complete article. Okay, let's see. Uh, this one's only concentrated on the virus fallout thing. All right, so all right, let's still mention China here. Stocks. Uh, meanwhile, Trump double ties attack with China over the outbreak. Pompeo said Sunday that the U.S. found enormous evidence that the virus came from the bio lab in Wuhan, China, without elaborating further in details. Yeah, I mean, I always said it was the bio lab, right? 
I actually had a lot of people agree with me, right? But of course, no one retweeted me, as always, right? But I was proven right yet again, all right? Uh, all right, so, all right, very good, very good. Shares of airline stocks slid fun for further Monday morning. If investor Warren Buffett. By the way, um, actually, I didn't say this before, but now that I think about it, right? If you're going to blame the wet market for eating exotic and weird animals, well, what about the rest of the world where obviously they don't have, you know, first world technology or where people do third world things, right? How come viruses aren't coming from those parts of the world, right? I'm sure India's got their crazies, you know, doing that stuff. You got people in Africa doing the same thing too. How come viruses aren't coming out, a crazy like viruses aren't coming out of Africa or India, right? Or you could say, oh, well, what about West Nile and Ebola and all that stuff? Well, it's been around for a while. And on top of that, you know, again, uh, India, I, I, I forgot to mention the Middle East might also do some crazy shit like that too, right? I don't really see any of that stuff going on. And even then, even when the outbreak happens in Africa, because it's so hot all the time, right? It's, it's Africa. Well, viruses don't do very well in hot temperature, especially when it's hot and dry, which is exactly what Africa is. So, uh, yeah. So really, so that's why, you know, it really makes you think, you know. Um, now, that being said, you know, the bat soup thing was, I well, mean, yeah, it was technically kind of racist, but it was also kind of funny, too. So that's why I was willing to kind of let it slide. And, I, and then it got Kathy Zhu, man, and then she got banned off of Twitter because, again, she forgets that, you know, she should especially know because fucking she's Chinese. I just assume she's Chinese like me. She should understand karma, all right? But instead, she decided to have an e-thought war with Cassandra Fairbanks and then... Yeah, anyway, but well, she got what she deserves. She's permabanned off of Twitter, so, you know. But, I mean, on the other hand, she's in it. She's actually in it for the attention and money hogging anyway, so it's it good rinse to her anyway. Even though she does technically have a right to free speech to, like, everyone else. But, you know, you know that's what that's what happens, right? You know, there's the, a the reason why Nick has a very harsh stance against e-girls, right? You know, I, I'm, I'm actually more tolerant of e-girls, but... Because uh, I actually know how, because I actually know how to handle women correctly, right? Without them getting angry or whatever, right? And legally, I I, I feel like I have to say that because one day someone's gonna clip this and then go, oh, you know, he's a rapist. It's like shut the fuck up, right? And then I'll actually sue them uh, and then take all their money. And if I don't win, at least I can bankrupt them. So shares of airline stocks slid further Monday morning after fame investor Warren Buffett said uh, during Berkshire it's company in larger okay so he's dumping his stock, uh, airline stocks meanwhile updates on the outbreak across America continue so here's their fear mongering uh, New York State still improving but we did have a slight uptick in deaths but the problem is they're really inflating the coronavirus deaths like any, if you just happen to have coronavirus and you die from something else uh, then they just count that as a coronavirus death. They're really inflating this shit, and it's clearly working, which is why it's pissing me off. Uh, let's see. He's going to reopen parts of the state. Uh, that is true. I actually walked out yesterday because I just needed some air, and I had to restock on like cleaning supplies, which, of course, there was none at the store, uh, pharmacy store. A lot of places were actually reopened, including the place where I usually get my vegetables. Like They actually reopened. So it's actually really good. Everyone's reopening, right? Oh, and the small supermarket that I like buying my other, like, small quantities, usually ice cream. Though I can't have ice cream now because I actually found, figured out what was causing my inflammation. I got to reduce my carbon. Actually, I have to eliminate my carbon take. Uh, that store, that grocery store was open. So, um, yeah, we're, we're reopening. And hell, even the uh, dry cleaning place near me reopened. Right? I was actually going to go today, but I realized I have to clean my light blanket because it has a weird smell because I don't really, I didn't use it during the winter. I just left it there and then I guess it just accumulated enough dust or something. I don't know. It's like, I don't think it's bold, but it's just like, you know, I really don't like this slight, weird and irritating smell. So I'm just going to clean it again, even though it's technically clean. So, yeah. So that means I got to use my heavy blanket for one more day and then have it dry clean tomorrow. Our mayor could sir the stay in place order should be kept in a place longer. The reopening of counties is a problem concern about ways of wave infections. I already take out that the phase reopening scale of public health stories ability to test trace meaningful medical solutions to treat and prevent it. Uh, we have a much better chance to reduce the size and scope of future outbreaks. Yes. All right. The reason why I didn't retweet. Oh, now I know why I didn't really retweet this. Yeah, the Spanish flu was pretty shitty. 
All right, and the second wave was worse than the first wave, but it was the year 1918, 1919. Did they have modern medicine back then? No, of course not. We're way better able to handle it today. More positive up there on the virus front. Gilead sign is preparing to get its anti. Oh yeah, Rem does a beer out to patients during this week. Okay, so they're going to be doing more testing with Rem does a beer. That's very good. Study job at corporate areas will also be so far. Most of us have been forgiven of dismal first quarter four results. Now, now as well. Yeah, this is very important. So far, this is very good and very important. The damage from coronavirus fallout is already priced in, at least the very worst of it. And that includes the unemployment numbers. So I think what people are now pricing in currently, uh, if you can even call it that, is the damage that the Trump trade tariffs are going to cause right and i say damage because people were already kind of expecting things but now all of a sudden you know things are actually different because if trump raises it to 50 percent, let's just say hypothetically as retaliation for you know china screwing the whole world over uh on coronavirus and of course making us chinese people look bad or agents in general well, you know, that's going to cause, you know, some short term uh, irritations. Now, with that being said, America should still be fine because traditionally, whenever we did tariffs, we actually always did really well. The only exception to that is when we closed America off to the world, which is, I think, what happened in the 1820s. I, I think it was uh, Andrew Jackson or the presidents around him did something like that. And it, and it obviously backfired horribly. Right, but we're obviously not doing that. We're just doing tariffs. So we still have trade with China. It's just that there's basically, oh, it's a Chinese, it's a good from China. Our Chinese good. Well, 50% uh, increased tax and it goes to America, right? Which is great because now we can use that for Trump bucks, right? You, you get my rubbing hands thing, right? I got my $1,200. People are very happy to get my Trump bucks, right? Or, or their Trump bucks, I should say. And then later this month, we might actually get more Trump bucks, right? I was actually talking. Oh, yeah, I remember when I did my thing on Friday, right? My parent, my dad called me in, right in the middle of recording. When I called him back after I was done uh, with my video, he actually asked me, and I completely forgot about it. Hey, we're going to get more Trump bucks? I was like, oh, yeah. We don't, he doesn't know yet, but he's going to give it to us if we're doing more shutdown. Of course, Lindsey Graham's being an asshole, so he's like, no, no one's going to get anything. Yeah, so... I don't know. South Carolina, I'm definitely going to have to, per I'm going to make it my personal mission to do something about Lindsey Grant, just kick his ass out. But I don't know. He's got, he's probably got a very strong power base in South Carolina. So it's going to be kind of hard to get rid of him. But, you know, that doesn't mean I can't try. Uh, trading pattern expected. Now we don't want technical analysis. And then here's a bunch of other people doing their shit too. Story continues. Oh, uh, and then here's just play-by-play. Play. Right, let's see what the idiots of Yahoo Finance are saying in the comments. Uh, God, there's no expert in the amount of debt we have. Okay, you're talking about the debt. You're retarded. Uh, going to be a long, hard slog. Blah, 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 blah. Well, hold on. He might be right about this. Bankrupt companies won't be rehiring. Uh, this was, this, I mean, technically the shutdown is a very concerted attack on the middle class. The poor will be fine because they get bailouts and handouts for free and welfare. And then rich people are fine because obviously they're rich, so they've got, you know, they've got money. Because the people in the middle, uh, that get crushed. I mean, it's, this is really well played by the globalists. Like, they want to get rid, they've always been wanting to get rid of the middle class. And, well, I mean, this is a really good way to do it. What was a concern two weeks ago? They had rose over several days, and now the concern the futures are down. The headlines are bugging or reason. Well, yeah, I mean, they're just pumping out content. I mean, I'm not going to downvote them, though, if I could. So, all right. Well, yeah. Rama was kind of acting will make the 2008 seem like it wasn't so bad. No, you're retarded. <clears throat> First of all, car sales. he's talking about car sales. You know, you know, people need to be buying big ticket items. First of all, they do not need to be buying big ticket items, right? What they need to be buying is the basic shit, and they are getting the basic stuff easily, right? I mean, in my case, it's inconveniencing because I go to Target, the fucking shelves are empty when I want meat and pork and whatever. But when I go back to Target in a couple of weeks, you know, Trump's uh, defense defense production act, what a DPA or whatever, uh, to force open the meat plants and I shouldn't say for well technically he forced it open, but it was a very gentle kind of <laughs> forcing, right? Because the meat packing uh, plants are actually very happy about it. Now it's a coin of Trump, so because again he removed the legal liability for the workers, so they get die from coronavirus or sick from it, they can sue or whatever. 
So I don't know the details about that, but I don't care. I just want I just want my food. All right, I just want my food. And yeah, I look at the facility. I mean, it's naturally already pretty clean because you're handling meat. So I mean, you kind of have to, you know, already have everyone be clean. Otherwise, as soon as you touch the packaging at Target, you know, you you get sick. It's like you know that doesn't make sense. Uh, da, 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 da. um. But yeah, it's totally different because a it's not the it's not the same thing. It was a top down. I, mean, I, don't, I don't really know how we go over this, right? But these idiots, these people are fucking retarded. All right, two thousand eight was top down collapse. The big banks were going out. This time around, it's the reverse. The banks are solid. They're rock solid. It's the people that are not solid. That's why they're getting Trump bucks, right? And it's a liquidity problem, right? You know, it's not derivatives causing the 2000, you know, remember the nuclear weapons of destruction that Warren Buffett used to call, you know, collateralized debt obligations, CDOs and all that stupid, crazy, complex shit that most people don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Right. That's not the case here. It's oh, people are so dumb. Right. It's so weird. Yahoo actually has decent articles, like some most of the time, some of the time at least, like 65%, 70%. But the comments are always consistently full of retards. It's it's hilarious. All right, I don't want to read any more of this because I don't want us to become like Yahoo commenters. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my uh, YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can uh, continue growing this channel. I'm starting to get hungry already. It's only 10, 12 a.m. Uh, but I have to cut the carbs because that's what's causing my chronic inflammation, at least my current bout, right? All of a sudden. It's like, you know, I'm losing weight, right? I'm actually down to around 169 to 171 range ish. Right, so I'm definitely losing the weight, but I still get like small amounts of chronic inflammation throughout the whole day and night. So it's like, okay, something's not right here. I must be definitely be doing something wrong. So, yeah. But anyway, I'll deal with it. You know, cut the carbs. Well, uh, which sucks. I really because I thought I could have a little bit of carbohydrates every day, but apparently I can't. So I buy still not in the clear. All right, well that's how it goes. Anyway, uh, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, it looks like so far it's not going to be too bad today, but who knows. Uh, but with that being said, it doesn't look overly bad. Uh, after reading what I've read today and studied, I think I'm just going to make the decision. I don't know. I'm I mean, I'll have to figure it out, but I'm definitely going to probably buy even before uh, the halving happens. Uh, I don't know. I mean, how do I really feel about it? I mean, is it going to really go down this time? Uh, I don't know. It's it's not a clear call. It's not a clear call. Um, let's see. I guess we could actually make this the thumbnail because I've been looking for this record of the big drop for a while. But is it going to happen this time around? I mean, let's see. It would have to go up a lot then down a lot. Because here's the thing, the reason why I only care about the drop is I'm about getting ready to buy Bitcoin. So if I want to buy Bitcoin, I actually want to buy at the bottom of the drop. If I'm wrong, it'll the price will stay the same, and it's, who cares? But if it goes straight up, that's actually a problem for me. Alright, so... I don't know. What do I decide here? What do I decide? Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. I'll figure it out. But for now, obviously, I do nothing. Um, but I mean, I kind of do need crypto, so we'll see. Anyway, uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. And, uh, it's actually pretty nice, so go out and enjoy the weather, right? Probably have to make sure you take your mask and, of course, do your social distancing shit. All that stupid crap. Anyway, yeah. Jensen Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. We covered a lot today. It's actually 44 minutes long, but there was a lot of data, so close that. Uh, yep, and there's our thumbnail.